Welcome back. Happy Vlogmas Day 16. My name is Judith. I am one half of the Nutty Nitty Sisters. My co-host and sister Julie and I do a usually once a month um, little video on our love of all things fibery, knitting, spinning, you name it. Um, Julie is also doing a um, video a day here on Vlogmas, so be sure to check her out. She's posting to the same channel. If you are a new viewer, thank you for clicking on the video. We definitely appreciate it and hope you will stick around by clicking the subscribe button and joining us for future broadcasts. If you are a returning viewer, um, we definitely thank you for returning and coming back and being part of our little fiber community. We really appreciate it. What I am wearing today, today I am wearing the Philomena shawl. This was a mystery shawl knit along for the main yarn cruise um, in 2019. The very first time I had done a main yarn cruise and a mystery knit along. Um, the shawl is the Philomena. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, the name of the designer escapes me. I love her designs. <laughs> I've made a skirt by her as well, but I'll put her name on the screen for you. I'm sorry. Um, but I, I really loved making the shawl. It was fun um, to get just a little clue every day. I think it was once a week actually through the yarn cruise. And I love this element of the this shawl. The way that it curls around on the ends is just really, really cool. Um, our mug today. The mug today is a beautiful um, Native American motif. It's a beautiful Native American girl there and a waterfall and a beautiful saying, let me walk in beauty and make my eyes ever behold the red and purple sunset. It's a traditional Native American prayer. And um, I think Either my husband or the kids got me this mug for Christmas many, many years ago. And when I did a purge, a great purge of mugs, because um, I am a bit of a, yarn, of a mug collector as well as I'm a yarn collector, um, this one I just could not part with because it is um, amazing. Um, I love the mug. Anyway, there it is. Cheers. Okay. <clears throat> Advents. Um, I couldn't resist. I had several conference calls this morning um, and I couldn't resist to go ahead and spin while I was on a call. So I have spun up the fiber already from my um, self-made fiber advent. However, I did capture a photo of it, a quick video of it before I spun it. So I will include that for you here so you can see it. It was the other fiber that was included in the December 2020 Fiber of the Month Club box from Paradise Fibers. And it was um, the fiber that I spun into a lace weight for the um, Simple Things shawl. The name of the fiber was My Dear Lucy. 
it was Narnia inspired Chronicles of Narnia inspired um, so that has now been added to the bobbin for our crazy um, kind of a, it's kind of a crazy mod podge of um, fiber into a yarn I am getting so excited as that's progressing and the colors are being added to the bobbin I'm getting so excited to go ahead and ply that <laughs> and see what it becomes I can't wait <clears throat> I'll probably be up before Santa even gets here plying that yarn to see what it becomes. Um, so uh, the other advent that I receive, if this is your first time, um, the other advent that I receive is an advent from um, Robin at A Yarn to Die For Designs. And um, this today's package included a wonderful um, measuring tape. I do love these. I have many, many Notion pouches, um, which desperately need to be reorganized, but I often have these in many of the different um, Notion pouches, so rather than looking for Notions, I can just grab a pouch and put it in a bag. Um, so thank you, Robin. I love that. That is definitely a nice little tool. <clears throat> Her yarn today was, um, oh dear off tune cardinals <laughs> and i started to undo it so that i could cake it up but then i had to share it with you so here it is in sort of in this game when i went to put this on the swift and put it into cakes i just thought it was even more beautiful <laughs> i can't wait to see how these long color repeats knit up in the shawl and then all of these speckles I can't wait to see what this does to the socks and to the um, habitation throw <clears throat> so I'll be um, putting this on the Swift and then balling it off into two it's a 20 20 gram mini I will be separating it into two 10 gram balls and then one will go into a habitation throw by Helen Stewart and the other is going into just a vanilla stripey scrappy sock. So I cannot wait to get this into those projects. Um, <clears throat> so I have been being haved myself this morning and I haven't started the new like the new advent yarn because I did want to share that with you. Um, but I have also been working on um the skyline wrap so this is by helen stewart it was it is from her knit vent 2021 series and i am on the final ribbing there are 20 rows of ribbing and i think i'm like eight eight rows in so i might just get this done today i'm so excited i really hope i can <clears throat> the final color that i pulled was a scrap from my find your fade um so that is going to be the last piece and then the skyline wrap will be done i have no idea how i'm gonna block this it's so huge but it's gonna be lovely and comfortable around the shoulders i can't wait i just don't know how i'm gonna block it <laughs> i really don't um so yeah if i can get that done then i will be able to finish my advents cast on the Ever After um, shawl, which is the final um, pattern in Helen Stewart's Knit Vent series. So fingers crossed that will happen. Um, I didn't talk about my socks, but I'm wearing, I'm wearing a duplicate sock that I had worn earlier in one of my earlier blogs. So it is, um, I believe it's Rusty Pennies by Dunroving Yarns, and the pattern is Spin Effects by uh, Helen Stewart it was part of her handmade sock society um, this year the beginning of this year um, so that's about it I am about three minutes away from my lunch break being over and I have conference call it's almost one o'clock and I have conference calls until three good knitting time right <laughs> We are officially out of isolation. Yay! I was able to hug my husband. I am so excited. Um, whoops. There's the bell.
so we are back to life as normal. Um, we are still pay playing it cautiously and not going to really rejoin the land of the living <laughs> until um, this weekend. And then we will do some real world activities that I'll try to take you folks along on. So um, that is life events. Today's plan. Today's plan. I'm just spending the day with my husband. So what I plan to do for you today is I it's a rainy cold wet day here. So this evening when I get out of work, I am going to light a fire in the fireplace and I will park the camera in front of the fire and you guys can just have like an evening of firelight. No closing, um, no closing remarks <laughs> from me today. Um, just a beautiful cozy fire for you to watch for the rest of this vlogmas. So I hope you enjoy that. I'm going to enjoy my husband. So I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Grandpa! 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 Oh, babies. Oh. Her first words as soon as I told her that you were off quarantine. Can I hug him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Grandpa's a little excited too. Pretty. <laughs> I don't know if you're ever gonna let Grandpa go, are you, buddy? <laughs>